to give you an overview of all that happens once you eat food in the digestive system let's go through it once the food enters the mouth and is temporarily stored in the buccal cavity till we chew and grind and savor the taste of the food and then we start to swallow it from the mouth it goes to the throat and then to the food pipe it is known as the esophagus the food pipe is known as the esophagus the length of this pipe will vary anywhere between 8 to 25 cm depending on how old you are the food then enters the stomach where the majority of the digestion occurs assisted by the liver and the pancreas after this the food enters the duodenum which is kind of a toll gate before the food can enter the small intestine from the small intestine the food which is pretty much just unwanted waste at this point goes to the large intestine the undigested food comes to the end of the tunnel and re-enters this noisy world again here these organs the liver and the pancreas aren't exactly part of the alimentary canal but they secrete different kinds of enzymes which are vital to the process of digestion apart from this there are other glands as well which help you in digestion like the salivary gland this is located here in your mouth secretes the saliva which begins all the process of digestion all these together constitute your digestive system all that our digestive system is actually doing is breaking down food that we eat into smaller molecules that can be finally absorbed so the di- digestive system is just a grinding machine and you never gave a thought to this process except for eating the food and the consequences the next day did you to keep learning with such engaging videos download byju's the learning app today